All right, this is super exciting. Let's have a look at formwork. I'm sure you're just as excited as I am to dive into regulatory software. So uh, this is uh, this is the screen that you should also be seeing. So it's the choose your adventure screen, or also the dashboard when you get started. And there you can see uh, you can have you can access the videos, QMS and Tech Talk. Oh, wait, actually, you can't access the Tech Talk because you probably just registered for the community edition, and uh, that doesn't include the Tech Talk feature. So that's uh, that's very sad. But the community edition still is really really cool because it includes the QMS feature, which we're going to be looking at, and which is uh, already, in my opinion, way better than any other software out there. And also, it's free, so that's uh, that's kind of a nice thing. All right, so let's go to the QMS section. And this is actually our own QMS you're seeing right now. So it's actually not quite looking like your account because it actually has content. But that's actually the interesting part here. We're looking at stuff which actually has content so you can learn from it. Now, this is the dashboard where you kind of like see whether you have to like uh, review stuff or so. We'll be looking at that later. And for now, we'll be looking at the document section. So the document section is just pretty much like a Google Drive, like well, a uh, folder structure, and you can create any sort of folder here, which will actually show up on the left side. So if I create a folder here and call it like uh, Oliver's test folder, you can see, oh, cool, it's actually in your left uh, menu now. So this is also kind of like a shortcut because the menu always shows you the like first level folders. Now, let's, uh, let's actually create a document here. So you can, uh, you go to the top right corner, click uh, new document, and then, well, big surprise, you enter a title. Let's see. Oh, wait, we have actually weird suggestions here. So let's actually call this like uh, my intended use or so. And then you, you enter some content and say like, OK, OK, this is great. Let's make this a heading. And, and one very interesting thing which you can already notice now is you have this, well, obviously you have this text editor, which is pretty cool. It also actually has table support. So you can like create a table here, like uh, let's call this a table here. And so what you might have not noticed is that this is actually based on Markdown, which in my opinion is really cool. So I can toggle the Markdown view here and you actually see the Markdown code. So if you're like a coder and prefer to write uh, Markdown documents in your own text editor, or just prefer to write Markdown like in itself, then you can just kind of like go ahead here and you can say like, oh, this is a big heading. Oh, heading. Go back to the what you see is what you get view, and of course it's it's all formatted here. So in, in my opinion, that's really really cool. You have like a, a ton of cool features and actually um, a couple of things which are not in a Markdown standard. So like you have some fancy features that you can actually like do lists and tables or so. So that's uh, it's actually kind of like well, it's it's nice to have. All right, now when our document is done, we click uh, Save Document, and then you can actually see what happens. So documents and formwork are versioned, which is really, really cool. So you can see, okay, this is version one of the document, and it's, it's a draft. It was edited by me and uh, just recently, just less than a minute ago. And you, you have this like hint at the top, which is always super helpful, like, oh, this document is a draft. You can edit it, and when you're done, send it for review. So let's actually see what we could do. Well, do we want to edit it? Not really. So let's, um, let's actually send it for review. Before we do that, you can actually see the document approval section at the bottom, and you can see who created it, who reviewed it, and who approved it. Now, so far, no one reviewed it, so you can only see, well, it has only been created so far, and it was created today by me, and that's version 1. All right. Now, actually, let's send that for review. And um, this is interesting now because when we send something for a review to generate compliant FDA e-signatures, you actually have to re-enter your password. Now you don't have to re-enter it every time. If you like send out things in review like like in quick succession, then you don't have to re-enter it all the time. But if you haven't um, sent something for a review for some time, then you have to enter your password. So let's let me enter that now. We're sending the document out for review, and this is the process of getting it approved and making it like a release document. Now you can see, okay, I can describe my changes, but this is like optional, but let's describe some changes like, oh, I made the first draft. Oh, this is pretty bad English. I created the first draft. Who should review it? Now for demonstration purposes, I'm going to review it myself. You can like set this setting in your formwork settings, whether you want uh, self-review to be possible or not. 
in small companies, like if you're a one-person company, you obviously do need self-review. But if you're like a 10-person company, it might be a bit weird if people can review their own documents. But that's more of a regulatory question and less of a formal question. But you can anyway set that. Now I hit send for review. And now this is a bit confusing because I'm also the reviewer, right? So now a few things have actually happened. In the meantime, I've got an email which says like, okay, dude, uh, Dr. Oliver Idle wants you to review this document. Um, he kind of selected you because you're the CEO. So you actually select a role to review the document. We'll get into roles later. And when I hit that link, I end up on this document. But before I actually do the review, I want to show you how the home screen looks now. Now, it actually shows you the documents you need to review and also the documents you sent out for review. So this is an important distinction. The things I've sent out for review, there I'm waiting for other people to review them and I can kind of chase them down to do their work, which happens fairly often if you're like a, uh, working in a regulatory position. Um, and the top section is the things I need to review because someone sent it to me and I should be reviewing this document. Now again, because we activated self-review in the settings, which we can look at later. This shows both things to me because I was the person who sent it out and I was the person who received it as reviewer. Now let's, uh, let's move forward with actually doing the review. Now you can see, okay, I have this, um, I have this cool uh, like GitHub style review box where it says, okay, approve or reject. I can select one of those two things. And I can also add a comment, which is optional again, but I can also see well, the comment is more relevant if you reject something because you might want to tell the person why you reject it. But you can also add a comment if you approve it and say like, okay, this is so great. Best intended use of my life. All right, submit the review. And with that, the document is actually approved. So you can see version one of the document is approved. And that's really, really cool. Now the document approval section at the bottom, it actually has been populated with some more data. Now you can see not only created, uh, was it I who created the first version, but I was also the reviewer and I approved it. And you can see in which position as CEO in this case. Now you see all the, all the changes which we entered just now and the review, um, the review comment which I just entered. So this is really, really cool. And when we go back to our folder, to Oliver's test folder, you can see the intended use is actually version one approved, which is really cool. All right. Now, we were actually talking about versioning. So what does versioning mean? Now, if you're like, if you created, uh, or if you now have a version one of your document, which is approved, well, you can't really edit that anymore. This is like a regulatory QMS thing. You can't edit uh, documents which are already approved and released, but you can kind of create new versions of them. So that's exactly what we can do. So you can see, the friendly hint box at the top, it tells me, okay, I can edit it as a new draft. And I have like a gigantic ton of options here, which I can also select, but let's actually not go into those. Um, let's go edit as a new draft. And then let's see, let's call this like edited. Okay, this is uh, still so great. And I can like make some other changes here, right? All right, when I'm done making my very important changes, I'll save the document again and you can actually see, oh, actually this is now version two of the draft. So I haven't edited the version one, which was released, but instead I edited, well, I created a new draft version. And now it tells me, oh, are there actually more versions of this document? So let's have a look by clicking on versions. And you can see, cool, well, I now have two versions of the intended use. I can always go back to the version one approved one. And of course that hasn't changed. That's still the same content as the approved version one uh, intended use, which we created earlier. All right. So now I could of course go out and send this um, for review, but we've, we've all seen that already. So I'm not going to go into that because that's really, really boring. You have like a few more nice, like other things which, which you can look at here. And I'm not going to go into all of those because some of those are super self-explanatory, but maybe only one thing, which is the activity. So you can see when certain things actually happen. So apparently six minutes ago, I created a new draft. So I've already been talking for six minutes. Oh God. And I just created this new draft one minute ago. And you can also see like the review stuff, which is going on. Now we talked about two things like, the first thing was this whole role thing. So I didn't select myself as a user, as Oliver to review this, but instead I selected the CEO to review this. This is an important concept in Formwork. And 
that's something we're going to look at right now. So on the left side, you can actually see, oh, we can actually have these review roles and you can define them here. And here are all the review roles in your company. In our company, actually each role only has one user. That's not necessarily um, the case on a technical level because on a technical level in Formwork, each role could have multiple users. So CEO, well, would it make sense to have multiple CEOs? I don't know, you tell me. But like, if you, for example, have uh, multiple regulatory affairs managers like Søren in our team, you could actually add them there. So how does this work? You would create a new role and you could say, hmm, coder or maybe software developer. That's kind of like uh, more professional. Select some people in our company and then you could actually uh, create that role. All right, and then you can actually create a role description, which is like important for your um, regulatory compliance, where you could kind of say like, well, um, this is like a cool role and we have certain job require, uh, sorry, certain qualification requirements for that, but we won't go into that right now. All right, so that's the role situation and something else we were talking about was the QMS settings. And right now the QMS settings only has one point and that's, well, uh, whether someone can actually do a self-review of their own documents. Right now that is set to yes, as we've seen because I did a self-review. Cool, all right. So those are the basics of uh, documents and getting them reviewed. Before we dive further into documents and records, um, I'll actually conclude this video and then you can actually go to the next video um, if you're further interested how to use all the other features.